How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for pathology. A four year old boy brought to the physician after his mother felt a mass in the left flank. Physical exam shows a left sided flank mass. Never would have guessed it. Ultrasound is performed. It's often the first modality we do in kids for unexplained masses. We don't have the radiation of a CT scan, for instance, which the following looks like we see in this patient. Answer Aniridia, correct answer. Okay, so this is going to be a Wilms tumor. You're going to do an ultrasound first. In contrast, in adults, for renal cell carcinoma, if you have flank mass, which is usually painful, you're going to do a CT first, not ultrasound. The reason aniridia, which means absent iris, is the answer is because Wilms tumor, WT1 mutations are associated with the wager complex, W-A-G-R. Wilms tumor, aniridia, genitourinary anomalies, retardation. Okay, now they can just simply tell you that the iris is absent or show you an image of it, and then you would just have to know that Wilms tumor can be seen, all right? Let's just hop through the others. Atresia of the CoNA, it's wrong. This is part of charge syndrome. The CoNA are the two patencies posteriorly within the nose, and this is going to be seen on US Familiar where they tell you a baby is blue while breastfeeding, and then when detaching from the breast will cry and turn pink again. All right, so you do an NG tube, you insert through the nose, and you're not going to be able to pass it through. That's the first step in diagnosis. Coincidentally, it's also the first step in diagnosis for tracheoesophageal fistula, where the NG tube will hit the proximal blind pouch of the esophagus. So sometimes if students don't even know the diagnosis, they can get lucky and guess it right anyway. But charge syndrome, so C is coloboma. Wrong fucking answer. Okay, so coloboma and charge syndrome. So that's a hole in the iris rather than absent iris. They're different, okay? So charge syndrome, coloboma is C, H, heart defects. A is atresia of the CoNA. R is retardation. G, genital urinary anomalies. E, ear anomalies, such as ear pitting. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, hypercalcemia is wrong. You can see this with renal cell carcinoma in adults. You simply wants you to know that not only cancers in general, metastases can lead to uh, increased calcium due to cytokine activity when they uh, arrive at the bone and leaching calcium out of the bone. But in addition, renal cell carcinoma can secrete PTHRP similar to squamous cell carcinoma of the lung. Okay, so they can give you a 49-year-old smoker, and he's got hematuria, and he has hypercalcemia, and he has polycythemia, because renal cell carcinoma can also secrete EPO. Very buzzy for RCC and eosomelia. And the histo is going to be large clear cells. It's aka clear cell carcinoma. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, e, hypoglycemia is wrong. This could be part of beckwith weidman syndrome. Okay, so the reason this is wrong, now some of you are going to be a little bit, it's a, it's a Wilms tumor syndrome, okay? The reason some of you are going to be confused is because the hypoglycemia component of beckwith weidman syndrome is neonatal hypoglycemia, OMG, okay? You wouldn't see that in a four-year-old boy. So beckwith weidman syndrome, WT2 mutations, neonatal hypoglycemia, hemihypertrophy, which means one side of the body is bigger than the other side of the body macroglossia, large tongue, you can get an omphalocele, and you can go on to get a Wilms tumor later. Okay, but what's most likely to be seen in this patient, it's not going to be hypoglycemia, that's neonatal. But aniridia, if you eliminate to get there, you say, well, that's WT1 mutation, wager complex, and I know the others are wrong. Hypoglycemia, wrong fucking answer.